to the Sam Livecast. New shows this week. Monday, we're starting off with... Well, wait. This week is the theme this week. I do favor theme weeks. Yeah, you do. We you have guys been, do? Yeah. I do too, yes. Uh, I should say we should say hello to Lynn. Lynn, how are you today? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm doing good. There you are. I'm doing great, man. Look at... Did you notice uh, I didn't look at the camera? I mean, I didn't look at the monitor. I looked straight because <laughs> now I'm supposedly... We're looking at each other or something. No, we have to look in like weird ways that this way doesn't right. really work for either of us and you, you look the right way and then max tell us is that working yeah, yeah. that works so like we talk to each other like this right so i'm like, not going to do this I'm wait high like five this. almost high as fi- if you're like right here oh. <laughs> <laughs> all okay. right ridiculous uh so it's a theme week and uh hello max by hello the way. how are you I'm well thank you it's a theme week and we're calling it late late summer appetizers and it would guess could be the same thing as mm-hmm. early summer appetizers. i don't really know there's no know. late summer here man I'm just happy for polenta. It's hot as f out. Yeah, I don't. Uh, sorry, yeah, I'm starting with polenta. I'm gonna. Well, the idea was grill this outside in the barbecue, and then do a little crab salad thing on it. I'm gonna do the crab salad. I'm gonna grill these. I'm not going outside. I will not go outside. I will not <laughs> go outside. It's a hundred million degrees in my backyard. I can't stand you it. You can just see how bright it is. Oh Look my at gosh. It hurts. it hurts. Oh my gosh. I was in Boulder this weekend getting Zach to school. Nine in the nineties. Jeez, it's just hot all over the country right now. And I'm going to uh, Dallas on Thursday for Perch's oh, grand opening good. of their Dallas store. It's going to be even worse. So let's just take a look. I'll tell you exactly what it's going to be. Even hotter. I believe, uh, here we go. Dallas right now is 91. Oh, I get oh. there Thursday. It's going to be 97. Friday, 97. Saturday, 99. 99. One Why don't second. they just make it go one more degree? Sorry, Linda, the monitor went down. Oh, oh, no. Is that okay? Are we okay? Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Okay. All right. So, but we have to deal with this polenta. Uh, and this is called a chub of polenta. <laughs> like chub. it would be a chub of sausage. Lynn laughs every time I say that. Why do you laugh? <laughs> it's, a, it's a funny word. I mean, I don't know well, why. Th- chub. Because it's chub E? Oh, maybe. It's a chub. It's a chub. Uh, look, you can buy polenta that comes in this form. Let's learn something here today. Raw polenta, right? It's really just cornmeal, is what polenta is, right? Yes. Okay. You can buy it in that form. Wait, pull it up and let's see. No, you want to see what it looks like? Here's what it looks like. All right, there we go. That's what it looks like. I like looking at the monitor. How come it broke? I know. I don't know why it went down. Can we fix it? Can we take a break? Oh, yeah. Why don't we just take a quick break? Let's fix it. This will be our break point. Okay, can I just say what I'm going to do and then I can do it over the break? Absolutely, yes. I'm going to open this up. Water's going to come out. Just watch. Just let me show you. Quickly, watch this. Yeah, no problem. Is it going to be gross? No, no, no. There's just water in here. If I do this, oh, look. See? Oh, wow. Water comes out. That looks kind of gross, actually. And here's what here's what a <laughs> chub of polenta looks like up close. <laughs> I didn't know they were like watery like that. Well, I think it just keeps it fresher. Oh. Nice. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these into into little rounds. Okay? Nice. We'll cut them into slices. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break just to fix our monitor problem. You're gonna notice nothing. Are they gonna take an actual break? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll yes. Okay, so uh, just know this. Uh, I'm going to uh, Perch in Dallas for the grand opening this weekend. Can't wait to be there. We talk about Perch all the time. This is, I think, store number five or six. And uh, amazing. I don't, don't really have words to say anything, but I'll try and get some video of what's going on there. It'll be really fun. Theperch.com on the internet, check them out. Uh, you'll dig everything that they do and uh, come back in a second and then we'll start dealing with this. Cool. Okay, so here's what they look like, right? They're just a little half inch. I don't know what size these are, but they're roughly half inch, right? Mm-hmm. I don't need to do them all. But here's what I do want to do. I do want to lay them out because, oh, I meant to heat this thing. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> Uh, because I want to uh, grill them on on my uh, grill pan. We talked about this before. A grill pan, these ridged grill pans, are ideal for uh, uh, making stuff inside and making it look like it's outside. But it's good flavor and stuff like this. And I want to do it on the grill pan because I want I want the stripes, the marks, because that's complete extra flavor. It's a bonus. Do you understand that? Here's the point that I make all the time. If grilling something didn't make a difference to flavor, then you might as well just use a microwave yeah. to cook all your food. I say if you could cook a, micro, a steak in the microwave to 130 
and cook one on a grill pan like that to 130. The difference in flavor would be night and day. No comparison at all. Hence, that's why we do it this way. Thank you very much. That's all I got to say. Little olive oil. Lethal olive oil. Just a couple drops, right? Because we don't want it to stick when we throw it on the grill. Like that. Okay, a little salt and pepper. But the crab salad we're going to make, Sam, are we not going to season that? Well, yes, we are going to season that, but you have to season all the components, ladies and gentlemen, because if you don't and you end up eating bites of this little polenta thing not seasoned, it'll be gross. Well, maybe gross is too strong, but it won't be nearly as good. I hate it when I go to a restaurant and there's three or four components of something and I taste one by itself. It's got no flavor. Like, you know, I love dishes like a rice dish with a fried egg on top of it. Just because the, the rice itself has lots of flavor, you still have to season the top part. You have to. I get mad to. about this stuff. Am I right, Master Chef? No, you're right, man. That's right. And polenta, unseasoned. It's got no flavor. It's not very good, man. What is it? You want to take a bite of this by itself here? No, thank you. Who wants a bite of this? Hop on one for a sec, man. I'll take a bite. You want to have a bite? Yeah, I'll have a bite. Let's have a bite. You coming? Lynn's coming out. No season. And I'm setting a light up. It looks like a hockey puck. Oh. It tastes like... Plastic. Plastic. <laughs> Delicious. It's not very good. You can't do it with anything salt. Yeah. Okay, can I throw these on? One oh. sec. We're still rolling, right? Yeah. This is, what a very casual. This is the live cast, baby. Very this is what we do. Come on. Wow, that wasn't very good. We are cash. Okay. There we go. Go hop in there for a sec. Oh so man, so in. much better with salt and pepper. <laughs> Isn't it? Wait, it's grilled. All right, that's much better. A neighbor just sent me a, a, a text. Yeah. Maybe you can answer this. Lynn. Mm-hmm. Can you run a defrag on a MacBook or something similar? If so, a, how? A defrag? We need our IT guy to help Lynn, us with that. Lynn, what's a defrag? Can I see you? I've, I've never run a defrag on a Mac, but yeah. it's short for defragmentation. That I knew. So when your hard drive writes files yeah. and then deletes them, it leaves the space where it deleted it. So it's not as fast when it spins. Well, what's his, uh, I should ask him what his problem is. I should ask him how old his MacBook is because it might be time for a new computer. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, so these guys are oiled. Let's throw these on, shall we? Yes. And then let's get to our little crabness. So, I got heat here. That was probably five minutes, I don't know. Three, four minutes aside. We'll see. I love that sound, though. Love it. That means you're cooking. Okay. And just leave them. Don't do anything with them now. Because if you start to mess with them, you're going to screw up on this really good marking that we want. For stay. Mm -hmm. Nobody understands what I just what that word is. <laughs> no clue. That means understand in German. First day. My mom used to say it. You know what's funny? Jilly uh, goes schnell, schnell, and I guess that means faster sure. in right. German because she played piano. It was from a German piano teacher? Yeah. Schnell, schnell. No, That's... it's just I think when you play, when you learn piano, I guess you they do German commands. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. I I don't. Think I that think makes it's just any... the piano thing. I don't know. No, I my guess. She had a German teacher. She had a German teacher. That probably makes sense. Yeah. Lynn, okay. did you ever take piano lessons? Uh, yeah, I took music. I don't think Schnell's the command. <laughs> no, Schnell means hurry up. Well, I mean, not in music. Or not in like written music. You know, it's, it's no, Italian. it's a command if you have a German teacher. No, I think I well, think well, I it think is a, like a piano command. I don't think so. I'd be willing to bet it wasn't. <laughs> okay. I'd love to know. Well, not, if I'm anybody not, out there can mean, let us know. I'm not no, I'm to, to Jilly. I, of course you're not. I think you think what do you I think? Am? I'm a sensitive little baby? God. <laughs> Stop being mean to my girlfriend. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a little... Uh... I should actually get going. You should. Because I got stuff that's going to start being ready soon. What's the holdup, man? The holdup is i got to get my shit together. <laughs> so we want a little bit of red pepper. Just for color. So... I feel like I've explained this concept before, but 
when you when you've got small food, it's better to have smaller pieces of stuff in it. You wouldn't want giant. I mean, sorry, me. I wouldn't want giant chunks of red pepper in this little these little bites that are going to go on top of this polenta thing. So look what I've done. I've made them pretty tiny, right? That's how I think it's going to look best. Good knife work, sir. Good knife Thank work. Thank you, Lynn. So here's some crab meat right here. Mm. Love crab. Love crab. Is that from a can? Uh, no. Uh, no, not a can, a package. So let's check these things. Come here and look and see how we're doing. They sound crispy, man. They sound like they're not... I want the guy to release a little bit more. It's not ready yet. Okay. They'll start to lift themselves up. You'll be able to pull them up uh, easier when they're ready. They kind of self-release. Okay, so back here. Let's put the red pepper in. That's pretty. Yeah, it is. A little... Uh, green onion. little green onion. Well, why not? Why not? We do love our little green onion, don't we? <laughs> and see, whenever I do this, there's always like one loose guy on the outside, like this, that you can pull it off. And then you just get down to like, just pure green onion, the heart. See, like this guy here? Off. This is the wibbly stuff that is not important to anything. And then this, we'll just cut these guys and then we'll give them another chop again. So we make sure, uh oh, a little bit of red onion, red pepper in there. We'll make sure that these guys are nice and small. Hey, if you guys haven't already, you should go check out the new thecookingguy.com. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we can chat about that later. Okay, so baby green onion. Here we go. Hey, Lucky. See those, you hear those things calming down? Lost the monitor again, Lynn. It's all good, though. We're going. It's okay. We're good. Okay, let me just check these guys now and see if I can lift these guys up. No, nope, not quite. Oh, oh wow. wow. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, polenta and tomato is a, is a very popular little combination. Whether it's a tomato sauce, whether it's a uh, slices of tomato. I'm going to use a little chili sauce to pull this thing together. Just a, a little bit. I don't want too much. Oops, sorry. And uh, a little lime juice. My phone's ringing. Hold on one sec. Oh my gosh, really? Don't do it. Careful, you're kind of on my mic. Speaking I'm shooting, of professional. I'm shooting live cast right now. Can I call you after? God. <laughs> no. Oh, because of my, uh, because of my question to you? Oh, no, 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 no. It was just that email. It was just that email that, that caused me a little... Uh... Okay. No, 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 nobody said anything. No, 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 no. Okay, I'll, okay. Wow. Yes. We just lost about 4.5 million viewers <laughs> because of that. <laughs> I, I knew that he really wanted to get a hold of me and I've been ignoring him because we've been shooting other stuff. Okay, so a little salt. Don't need to have the conversation again, but if you're not using salt, you're just missing out. So I've got the lime juice in here. I've got this, and so now this will just mix. And the goal here is uh, not to kill the crab flavor by putting mayonnaise or sour cream and whatever. I recently witnessed a conversation with a few of my friends where they actually said that they don't use or they don't think they like pepper because of basically a holdover from their childhood. They thought that pepper was like for adults, and so to this day, they, don't, they think they don't like pepper. What? what? That's it's so crazy. Weird. I think they don't realize how much salt and pepper goes into the seasonings. Mental. Yeah, I think that people just aren't seasoning properly if that's going on. You can lead a horse to water. Let's see if we can flip these guys. Okay, like we can, but now what I have, I gotta get oil back on these guys again.
I could have done that with a brush. You know, that wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world to have put it done with a brush. And now I feel like they're sticking. And now you're rushing. Now I'm rushing. And now you're going to get hot. Oh, that's okay. I could definitely leave them longer. Ooh, you look good. I know, but... But they're doing okay. <laughs> they kind of remind me of grilled pineapple. Yeah, right? Uh-oh. This guy. This guy is giving me grief. But look, they're nice. And the thing about these little polenta guys... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. What is going it's on okay. here? The thing about these little polenta guys... Is oh shit, oh shit, <laughs> oh shit. Is that they're nice if you can serve them hot, but they don't have to be hot. I mean, you could actually get these going during the day earlier and serve them room temperature. I mean, I wouldn't serve them cold or anything like that. I think that would be foolish. Okay. Oh great, I have crab left for a little crab omelet. Ooh, yeah. Uh, oh, you said, Max, did, they, did it come out of a can? My point is, it didn't come out of a can, it came out of one of those tubs? Yes. It's, um, like with a pop lid. Pasteurized. Yes. Uh, meaning, it can't sit on the shelf, it has to be kept refrigerated. Like with a pop lid, and that stuff's pretty darn good. It certainly is good for anything that I would use need in this house. I mean, it's not full, it's not whole crab. That's a whole nother thing. It's not crab legs. But for like an omelet or this kind of thing, this is outstanding for it. Okay. The only other little thing I want to put on the top of these guys to make them super pretty and add just a tiny bit more flavor is a little avo. Yeah. Ooh. I got to figure out if I can do this the right way. Excuse me, Lewis. So you know with avocado, right? Like people always say that if you don't live really around California, they're really tough to get. Is that yeah. true? That's I want to know. Like if anybody on Facebook knows, like post after you watch the episode. I'm kind of wondering, is it really hard to get avocado where you're at? I mean, 90% of the country's avocados are grown here, oh, California. Well, that makes sense. So no wonder we have such an abundance of them. Because I get all grumpy when I don't find like ripe avocados. Yeah, you know what the problem is? I don't plan ahead for using avocado. Mm -hmm. And so I have to go to the store and assume I'm going to be able to find ripe ones. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes you that's can't. all you've got. The rock hard guys. That's your choice. Wait, why don't you show everybody your little technique there? Oh, well, I don't really need this one, but I will. Oh, okay, never mind then. It's okay. No. So you do you yeah, just show them what you did. You just took the spoon and you... You did this. Yeah, get rid of the pit, obviously, and, and then... You just do this. You take the yeah. spoon in here, mm -hmm. and then just all the way around, boom, and there's your little guy. It's perfect. Which is that? You put that on a plate, I mean, upside down, and fill it up with... Put some salad on the bottom, and then put this thing facing up, and put crab in the middle of it. That'd be lovely. I, I saw one of my friends try and cut a mango, and they were, like, trying to rip the skin off of it. It oh, was mango so is weird. Mango a pain in the ass. Yeah, but I feel like it's similar to that. No, no mango is the same thing. You cut it, and then you scoop it with the spoon. Well, only, yes. It's not, a, it's the, not quite as easy the, as the avo, but... Yeah, you got to do that on the sides. It doesn't happen quite like this. I should put just a little uh, of that on. Let me just check and see how we're doing here. Yeah, don't burn them. No, we're doing fine. Looks I think good we're to there. me, man. What'd you say, Lynn? Looks good to me. It it's smells good. good too over here. It's good to me too. Oh, gosh, 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 gosh. What to do, what to do. Let's use one of these that I haven't used. That's a cool little tray. A couple bucks says they'll be taken off of this for lens photography. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gambling on my photography now, huh? <laughs> for your work that makes all of my work look outstanding. Hey, man. We're a team here. Sell yourself short. Okay. These guys are super hot. They look really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's the plan. 
Sorry, Max. It's all okay. We're gonna take and put a little bit of crab on this. Then just go to one real quick so I can just reset my camera. Sorry, I'm in the blind right now, so I can't tell when he's not doing that. Or when I'm when my camera's up or not. Alright, there you go, I'm set. Well, that looks really legit. Nice. These look so bikes, beautiful. Right? What a great little appy too. But fresh, right? So still summery esque. Mm-hmm. No, definitely not heavy. You know, it, there doesn't have to be the component of mayonnaise and, and all that heavy, saucy, fatty stuff. This is just nice. And by the way, this polenta, let me turn this. Polenta is like super low fat. There's no fat in it. So maybe, I, I, I didn't mean super low fat. <laughs> yes. I mean super low calorie. Uh, that chub is, a uh, six of that chub is, um, what is it? It's uh, 70 calories, they say. Oh, wow. Right? So think about it. I mean, that's quite a, it's quite a, it's, it's, you can eat quite a lot of it, I guess, is the point that I'm trying to make. Nice. Okay. So sorry, now, now just little tiny, right? Like just want like a little guy here. Oh, oh so fancy. I know, right? It's such a nice little garnish. Except that one's are ugly. Get out. <laughs> All right, Chief, I'm gonna move my camera. Sure. Go ahead. Well, you weren't kidding when you said you only needed half an avocado. <laughs> right. Not even. Well, now I've got extra avocado here that Max made me. Mm -hmm. Guess we'll have to eat it. That would be the worst thing in the world. Okay, now just. Oh shoot! I took it out. Here it is. Uh, just a tiny little bit of cilantro. Just a, like really like a tiny bit. And yes, I do like things with a little green on top. But I also think a little fresh. Cilantro is very fresh tasting to me. It is. Very herby. When it comes to, you know, the greens. There we go. Okay, that's it. Oh, Boom. looking nice. Boom, there we go. Have a look. And I'll eat one. Just one. Or I'll eat the ugliest one. <laughs> which I think would be this guy. Yeah. Is that the guy? Take which that. one? Which one? I'm gonna put my finger either over Either that guy or the guy next to it to your left. Yeah. Yeah, the, the middle top guy. This guy you like? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the, you can eat that guy. I'm going to eat this guy. I want to get a little bit in each bite. Oh my god. Mm hmm. Okay, this is a must make. You know what this tastes like? It tastes like a late summer appetizer. <laughs> But not like an early summer. Mm -mm. Definitely past like the first week of August, no question. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, that's good, please make it. I say it all the time. Look, you don't have to buy a chub of polenta, you can make your own. Mix it with water, a little salt, cook it in the pot, get it thick, put it in a pan, spread it out, then you can have any shape you want. You want diamonds, cut diamonds, you want squares, circles, it's up to you, you can totally do that. It's cheaper that way. This is faster because it's already done and you can do this in a minute's notice. All right, uh, Wednesday, uh, we're gonna do little Asian-y wings. Wednesday, we're gonna do little Asian-y wings. They're gonna be fantastic. Three ingredients. Three, what do we do that again? Three ingredients. That's nothing. Go look at the new website, cookinguy.com. It's all brand new. Tell us what you like. If you don't like anything, then I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> Apart from that, we'll see you Wednesday for Late Summer Appetizer Week. We'll continue. Thanks for hanging out with us. See ya.